Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In our today's video, we will talk about this problem. And this problem came from our subscriber, which is C. Si Astrid's blog. Shout out nga pala sa Astrid. And I hope sana matulungan itong uh, masagutan ng yung problem when it comes to probability. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. Here's the problem. What is the probability of getting P or letter P in the word Philippines? Again, what is the probability of getting a letter P in the word Philippines? Before we start solving this problem, I would like to show you the formula in getting the probability of simple event. This one kasi is under simple event. So when you say simple event, the formula is simply P of P is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the number of all possible outcomes. Now, so paano ba natin ginagamit yung formula natin? Uh, this formula is quite easy for me to use kasi uh, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap talaga intindihin. Lalo na pag natandaan niya kung paano siya, paano kinakuha yung number of favorable outcomes and number of all possible outcomes. But let's start with this one. Sabi nito, probability of an event. Ang event natin dito in this problem is getting a letter P. So, ilalagay natin dito ngayon sa ating event is the probability of getting a letter P from the word Philippines. This is the word that. Now, sir, paano pa natin makakuha yung number of favorable outcomes? In this given word, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 letters para mabuo natin yung word the Philippines. And ang target natin event is to get a letter P. Para makuha nyo yung number of favorable outcomes dito, bilangin mo lang kung ilang letters or ilang letter P ang meron tayo from the word Philippines. And along this word, we have 11 letters. Three of them, tatlo, again, tatlo sa kanila dito ay letter P. So that's why, to solve this, yung number of favorable outcomes natin, since ang event natin is letter P, is 3. Again, Sir, bakit po ulit 3? Because we have 3 letter P's in the word Philippines. And sir, how about our denominator? For the denominator, we have the number of all possible outcomes. So since meron tayo 11 letters in the word Philippines, ito na ngayon yung number of all possible outcomes natin, which is 11. And to solve this or to finalize your answer, di ba? Uh, when it comes to fraction, all you need to do is to express your answer in, so, in lowest terms. And analyzing this, uh, no, this fraction, 3 over 11, this one is already in simplest form. Wala na tayong pwede pang simplify kasi wala na greatest common factor. So we can consider that the probability of getting a letter P in the word Philippines is 3 over 11. Eh, siguro ng konti sulat ko, ah. We have 3 over 11. Pwede na ito maging sagot natin. But, if your teacher, or kung gusto mo makakuha ng another possible way to express your answer, di ba, ang fraction na pwede natin express as percentage or decimal. When you're use, If you want to use your calculator, simply divide 3 by 11. So ako gagamit ang calculator ko. I will divide 3 by 11. 3 divided by 11. This will give me 0 0.20 7. Nag-round off na ako. Or, kung gusto mo rin ng percentage naman talaga, you can have this as 27%. These are the possible answers na meron ka in getting the probability of letter P in the word Philippines. So, I hope na mapanood ito ni Astrid's blog and sa mga viewers natin na gusto matuto about probability of simple events, you can use this formula and you can use this example. So, sana, if you want to know more about our topic or our channel, you can comment down below kung nakatulong sa iyo ang ating channel, ang ating video na ito. And if you have any requested topic that you want to discuss, pwede nyo ilagay sa ating comment section para mabasa ko ito. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. 
Again, it's me, Teacher Trevang. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.